Hey guys, Wrench Life here. So today's video, I'm gonna show you what I did with this Ford C6, C4, C6 shift linkage. The part number I got here is the 1801. It's similar to Low Car's 1801 kit. This is for uh, to keep the linkage on the transmission to the column shift. I'm gonna go over what my symptom was and how I went around to fix it. So as of right now, gear is in park, but it's currently in uh, low. And uh, I think somewhere there's reverse and uh, drive is reverse. So everything just backwards. So what we're gonna do is keep it in park here, set the e-brake. Pop out and look at the car lifted. So coming from underneath the car, uh, we see this linkage right here. That's one that comes off the column. Nice little uh, cotter pin holding that together, pretty safe. If you follow it down, we will see that it leads to if you see it leads to this guy right here. So what we're going to do is plan on clamping down to the round section of that shaft. And hopefully that will get us done and able to hook up that aluminum linkage. We're going to take that small 3 8 rod or whatever that is out of there too. That's also held down with a cotter pin. So let's yank that out. So here's the alar aluminum arm installed. Um, I was having troubles knocking this part onto the shaft. So I had to sand the shaft down. Spray a little bit of lube and I have to just kind of work it back forth, back forth. And you see this little set screw on the other end. It's a Allen bolt. So tighten that Allen bolt down and we're in park, drive, whatever. I just put it 180 from this because it's going to be direct opposite. So put it there and then I put it as low as I can without hitting the pan. As you can see, it is pretty freaking close to the pan. I really didn't like this kit. I thought it was getting a low car kit. I ended up getting some no name one off eBay, which had the same low car part number, but you see how this bolt head sticks up here. If it was countersunk, it would sink down into this aluminum, but who knows? So moral of the story, buy the name brand stuff. Next time if I would have to do this, I would go ahead and just buy the low car. So with that being said, I'm gonna take a measurement from here to the shift linkage and I'll uh, transfer that up and we'll, we'll cut our new rod. Here's our new rod. As you can see, it is threaded on one side and not on the other. That allows us to slide this guy through and then uh, thread in our set screws after that. I made a rough guesstimate where it should be. I'm really bad at measuring, guys. So um, hopefully you don't measure once, cut twice, but we'll measure once and hopefully cut once. We got it quickly mocked up here and it seems like it's working all right. This side is all connected, and then when you see where it goes up to here, it is all tied up there. And you see those two little set screws, those ones right there. I got those threaded down. If I were to do this again, I'd probably drop it out, drill two little spots so they could countersink in, or even like run two flat spots into it, and then probably blue lock tied it. But that's where we'll leave it. We'll uh, put it down on the ground and see if we actually have drive reverse and all that. In I was inside the car running it through the gears manually and it feels really stiff and zero play like before it was super, super like a lot of play in that thing. So let's hope that it works. So that took longer than ever. Ended up having to uh, tap the bracket that went into the transmission. Guess the guy before me who owned it uh, put in the wrong bolts and it ended up pulling the bracket out. So. If you guys didn't know, three, if it's stripped out 3 8 you can use a 10 mil tap and it works perfectly fine without redrilling. Not that you guys need to know, but geez. Just turn a 15 minute job into a two and almost two and a half hours. Gotta love cars. The weather's getting cooler around here. So uh, probably gonna hook up the choke one of these days. Gotta kind of feather it when it's cold to keep it alive. Let's uh, take off the e-brake. Shifter in reverse. It's in reverse, trust me here. It's kind of in between, but. We're moving. So 
That was a bit of a fight, but I'm actually so happy that's done because ever since I owned this car, that shifter's been backwards and I've been driving into stuff. But with that shifter fixed, yeah, it feels regular. Uh, ignore the wind noise, I'll wrap this one up. I'll edit this video down super quick so you don't see me just struggle with it so you guys get the gist of it. So that's how you put a shift linkage into one of your Ford C4, C6 Trans when the shifter's all busted and backwards without having to fight with it as much as I did. So thanks a lot guys. If you like this, drop a like, it helps me. And if you wanna stay tuned, like what I do, hit subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.